unequal justice. You might remember Jacob Chansley, the QAnon Buffalo Shaman, being made the face of the January 6th insurrection against the federal government. But what you may not know is that this young man was released early from prison and was interviewed by Michael Knowles here. How old are you about this time? Well, when I really started to investigate shamanism, I was about 20 years old. Okay. But I had had shamanic experiences since, you know, before I hit puberty. What were those like? Well, I, after watching the movie Jesus of Nazareth I, at 10 years old during spring break uh, in 1997, I was very inspired uh, to do my own communion. And so I grabbed a bottle of wine from the cabinet when my parents were looking. I grabbed some bread and I blessed the bread and blessed the wine. And, um, I caught a little bit of a buzz because I kept drinking the wine, but I had a very deep and profound shamanic experience. I felt the presence of God, Ooh. felt the Holy Spirit. It came over me. I was crying a lot, you know. So that was my first real shamanic experience of like mixing uh, religious ceremony with altered states of consciousness. So that, that was where that started. But um, then I had, you know, experiences throughout my teenage years where I was uh, experimenting with cannabis. And that really was mind-blowing. And I, I had some pretty profound experiences with that that really answered all the questions that I had ever had about reality and God and who I was, what life was about, what reality was, all of that stuff. But it was all like a download. I couldn't actually articulate like verbally to anybody. I just understood like intuitively, like instantly how everything fits together. This young man here, he doesn't sound like a white nationalist or a white supremacist or any of the other labels that the news media assigned to him. So are you familiar with the Fibonacci sequence and the, the spiral, yep. right? Okay. So, and five, the five ratio, golden mean, yep. all that. Okay. So, long and short of it is, is everything is made up of interconnected electromagnetic fields. So everything is a, a, like a hologram of these interconnected electromagnetic fields on different sizes and scales. Each of these different electromagnetic fields is operating based on this spiral of energy from these higher dimensions to the lower dimensions, dispensing larger or smaller amounts of energy to these higher or lower dimensions based on the frequency of energy that each of these electromagnetic fields is based on. Would you describe this as I've heard these sorts of ideas described as a new age? No, and that's what's interesting about shamanism, and this is the reason why I practice it, is because if you look into shamanic culture, all religions are basically practicing different forms of shamanism. This young man here is following his own path. Whatever they sentenced him for, 41 months in prison, it would seem to be nothing that this young man actually did. I'd like to talk about two things. The first is visual. This social media company immediately slapped a context warning on this interview, which was up three weeks ago. This is 2023. Three weeks ago, this video was put up, and yet there is someone still employed at this social media company whose job it is to conduct election interference and attempt election rigging, telling you basically, forget what these two guys are talking about. You need to vote Democrat. It doesn't matter that this man was innocent of what he was charged with by a federal judge. No, according to this social media company, you need to vote for the Democratic Party in the next election. This is disgusting that we still have election rigging going on by mega corporations who view it as their job to tell you who you're going to vote for. Let's take a look at what the federal judge who sentenced Jacob Chansley to 41 months in prison said. Judge Royce Lamberth, this is from 2021, has had Chansley held in jail since his arrest. He made himself the image of the riot, didn't he? 
Judge Lambert said to Chansley's defense attorney. Judge Lambert added, what you did here was as horrific as you now concede, and he could not justify a shorter sentence. Let's take a look at what Chansley actually did. From Arizona, called Jacob Chansley, often referred to as the QAnon shaman. The so-called QAnon shaman. QAnon shaman. Someone named Q shaman. Jacob Chansley became the face of January 6th, a dangerous... I wonder why they took this host off the air, huh? Costume, ...who led the violent insurrection to overthrow American democracy. For these crimes, Chansley was sentenced to nearly four years in prison, far more time than many violent criminals now receive. What did Jacob Chansley do to receive this punishment? To this day, there is dispute over how Chansley got into the Capitol building. But according to our review of the internal surveillance video, it is very clear what happened once he got inside. What? Virtually every moment of his time inside the Capitol was caught on tape. Look at that. Tape Look at this violent insurrectionist. 41 months in prison. They helped him. They acted as his... 41 months in prison Here's for walking around Chansley hallways. Capitol Police officers take him to the federal entities, judge called this conduct horrific. For him. We Look at this. Nine officers who Was this conduct horrific while he's walking through large groups of Capitol Police officers? What is that judge Chansley. talking about? Not one of them even tried to slow him. So that's incredible. So this judge says what you did here was horrific. And sentenced him to 41 months in prison. Clearly this man is a threat and a danger to no one. This is a gentle person. And he's also someone who is intellectual. And regardless of whether you believe in his quirky lifestyle, this man did not deserve this sentence. What was federal judge Roy Slamberth thinking of here? You have to go into what it is that constitutes an acceptable protest. See, here's what the federal judge considered an acceptable protest with no prison sentences, where Democrat mobs are protesting on behalf of officially sanctioned protest topics as laid out by the Democratic Party. Jacob Chansley was not protesting on behalf of the power of the Democratic Party. In fact, it was quite the opposite. What Jacob Chansley was taking part in was intended to diminish the power and authority of the Democratic Party. That's what Judge Lambert sentenced this man for. Judge Lambert looked at the protest and said, I, as a federal judge, do not personally agree with what these people are protesting on behalf of. But that's not a federal judge's job. It says it right here on the facade of the Supreme Court building. Equal justice under law. This is a motto of our country, and it's the basis for our legal system. The judge decided that since Jacob Chansley was not rioting and burning and looting on behalf of the Democratic Party, he needed to have the weight of the law thrown at him. But all these people burning and looting and destroying on behalf of approved, sanctioned Democratic Party protests, which are designed to increase the power of the Democratic Party. No, none of those people get a four-year prison sentence. This man got a four-year prison sentence for calmly walking around These the halls of power with, the, with all the Capitol Police just leading him on on his guided tour, essentially. If you're being led around on a guided tour, what do you what do you get a four-year prison sentence for? Chansley. Not one of them even tried to slow him down. Chansley understood that Capitol Police were his allies. Video shows him giving thanks for them in a prayer on the floor of the Senate. Watch. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for sending the inspiration needed to these police officers to allow us in this building. The other thing I would point out to you is the fact that this video was released after the 2022 midterm elections. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi classified all such security and police video 
for years. And when she conducted the partisan January 6th committee, which was composed entirely of House members selected by the Democratic Party, none of this footage was allowed to be shown to the American public. Why? Because the Democratic Party lied about the events that day. I don't know if this judge was shown this footage, but it didn't Try matter. Oh. All that mattered was that Judge Royce Lamberth used his personal opinion to decide what constitutes a good protest compared to a bad protest. Everyone's familiar with the first part of the First Amendment to the Constitution. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. But what most of you are not familiar with, and this judge, Judge Royce Lambert, should be intimately familiar with, is the second half of the First Amendment. The right of the people peaceably to assemble. Oh, you mean like this man peaceably assembling here. That's right, look at him peaceably walking around. Capitol Police not disturbing his peaceful protest. And then the final part, to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Folks, I don't know what constitution Judge Royce Lamberth was reading, but to petition the government for a redress of grievances, that's precisely what this man was doing, walking around the halls of power. And you can't let Democrat mobs loot, burn, and destroy and occupy government buildings with no repercussions, no prison sentences, no punishments whatsoever, and then go to this man and say, we've decided you are such a threat to democracy, you need a four-year prison sentence. It is, in fact, unequal justice under law. Thank you.